Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enhance and make eyes more dramatic in Photoshop. Arguably the most important part of your portrait is the eyes. The eyes are the window into the soul, and it is what gives someone life. Now, there are three things that are really important when you're retouching eyes. The first is to make sure you have a catch light and that is a strong light reflecting off the eyeball. The second is that you have light catching at the bottom of the iris. Uh, the lens on top of your eye will condense light, similar to a uh, magnifying glass, toward the bottom of the pupil. So that's naturally where an eye is gonna have more light. And the third thing is you want your eye to be really sharp. Um, part of that obviously is when you take the photograph, the eye should be what's most in focus, but there are things you can do in Photoshop to enhance that even more. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how we can enhance and make eyes more dramatic. Now, if you'd like to follow along, I have included all the assets that I use as in a link in the description of this video. So go ahead, download those, and then let's get started. All right, I'm gonna go to File, Open, and in the assets, you're gonna see seven sample files. We're gonna work with the first three, but I've included a bunch of others so that you can play around and practice the techniques that I'm gonna show you. So let's start with iSample01. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Because it's a raw file, it's gonna open up in Camera Raw. So the basic three principles of enhancing eyes is you want to have a catch light, you want to sharpen this part of the eye, the iris, and you want to add some light at the bottom of the iris. Realize that the eyeball basically has a glass orb and it refracts light. So naturally, right under the pupil in the iris is gonna have more light than above here, which is shaded by the top of the eyelid. So essentially those are the aspects of lighting that we want to enhance in our image. So to do this, I'm gonna use a gradient or a radial filter, and that's just gonna allow me to select just the eye like this. Now, right now it's inverted, so if I invert it like this, now it's just applying inside the eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and reset this so that there is no effect and I'm going to hit V on the keyboard to turn off that overlay so I can see what I'm doing. So first thing I wanna do is increase the brightness. And I, I usually always do this with one eye, so I have a reference of what the original looks like. That way I can make sure my corrections aren't overdone. So first thing I usually do is increase the exposure. I want to get as much detail as I can out of the eye. Now this looks far too bright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the contrast and the clarity to counter what I've done with the exposure. So more clarity. And you can see that's starting to make the eye darker. It's still a little bit too light. I can also increase the texture because I want the eye to be sharper. And maybe now that I can see, I can decrease this to get it a little bit closer to my original eye. I do want it a little bit brighter, but not too much. Also here, if I want to, I can actually manipulate the color of the eye a little bit. In this case, I may wanna push it a little bit more toward the cyan color. Now, I don't wanna overdo it. I don't wanna change her eye color, but I can push it just a tiny bit. So I can add a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. And as you can see, it's not drastically different, but it's enough to help a little bit in my color harmony here. So something like this. And that looks pretty good. Now the problem here is that this is also going up here. If we turn on our overlay, you can see that. So what I can do here is just go on this erase tool and with a pretty small brush, just erase here where I don't want this effect. So something like this, and then we can hit V and O, or not O, what is the shortcut, Y. 
So V and Y to turn those off. And that looks pretty nice. The other thing now I want to do is just add a little bit of light toward just the bottom of the eye. So to do that, I'm going to use a brush. And I'm going to make my brush pretty small. And just paint around this area. I'm going to turn on the mask with Y so I can see what I'm doing. Already it's too much. So let's zoom in a little more. Maybe to 200. And I'm going to go ahead and delete it and just do a new one. Okay. So I want to brush just along the bottom. It's kind of like a moon just under the pupil, just along the bottom here. And may even take a bigger erase brush here and kind of feather it down so it's just along that bottom there. So that's about the area that I want to address. I'm going to hit Y and V to turn off those. And then for this, I'm going to reset it and then just increase the exposure quite a bit so I can start seeing that highlight and then also increase the contrast and again, the clarity. So something like this. I don't want the light, the lightning to happen in kind of this um, halo that goes around her iris. So I'm just gonna make, take my erase mask tool and just hit the bottom of that like this. So something like that. And there you can see the difference between those two eyes. And what we can do here now is turn our overlays back on. We can select this and actually duplicate it and then drag this to the other eye and then go to our radial and copy that as well. And here you can see the before and the after. And you can see that those eyes are being nicely accentuated and enhanced. Okay, next I want to show you how to do the same thing in Photoshop. So let's go back to File Open and we're going to use this Eye Samples 2. Now I've chosen this because the eyes are darker which is always more of a challenge. So first thing we're gonna do here is just bring up the exposure to about where it should be. It's probably somewhere around there. Maybe take down the highlights a little bit, the shadows up, and then I'm gonna hit open because I wanna do this in Photoshop, show you how to achieve those same uh, techniques, but in Photoshop where um, in all honesty, it's actually a little bit easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is just make a layer and we'll call this I light oops i light like so and i'm going to go on a soft brush here and take that down to about there okay good so then with a white brush i'm just going to paint underneath her eye something like this And we're going to put this on overlay. And right away, you can see that that brings in some color in her eye. It's probably a little too strong. We can always add a mask to this. And with a black brush, kind of paint away where, where we think it's a little too strong. So probably just kind of push it toward just the bottom of the iris. That's really where you want that stronger light coming in. Now for something like this, we also might want to accentuate the catch light. So what we can do here is add another one. We'll call this catch light. I'm going to also put this on overlay. And with a white brush, I'm going to just paint over the catch light. So like this. There you can see that makes that catch light stronger. We can adjust the opacity if that's too strong. So something like this. And then the last thing we want to do is make the eyes sharper. So what I can do for that is kind of make a rough selection around both eyes and then do shift C 
Command C, which basically copies all your layers together, and then V, and that's gonna paste them. So now I have a layer of just the eyes. And on this layer, I'm gonna go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And you can see what that's doing is it's bringing everything to 50% gray, except for the extreme highlights and the extreme shadows. And we can use this to create a sharpen. So I wanted something like uh, probably around four pixels. And then I'm gonna put this on linear light. And you can see what that's doing. It's adding this sharpness to our eyes. Obviously way too much, but now I can just hold down Option, click on the mask. That's gonna mask the entire thing. And then with a soft white brush on the mask, I can just paint in just the eye areas and the eyelashes. And that's gonna give you a really nice crispy look. Works really well on female and male eyes. So something like this. And here you can see the before and the after. So it's subtle, but adding that sharpness, punching up the catch light, and adding some sharpness to the eyelashes really does a lot to make those eyes look a lot nicer. Okay, last one I wanna show you is what to do in a scenario where you don't have any light and a very weak catch light. So here you can see the image. I could do some adjustments in uh, Camera Raw, but I wanna show you how to do this in Photoshop. So I'm just gonna hit open. I'm not gonna make any changes there. And the first thing we'll do here is try to just get out as much information as we can from the existing eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a selection of both pupils. So something like this and like this. And then if I hit Q, that's gonna make a selection. Now with this Q, I can go Gauschenberg. Q is short for quick mask, is the shortcut for it. So I can just bring up my Gaussian blur until it about matches the iris in the photo. And then with a black brush, I can just brush out the part that should not be in this. So something like that. And then hit Q again, I have now a nice mask and I can use that to add a curves layer. And what I'm gonna do now is just kind of bring up and see what details I have in there. So if I go really bright, you can see I actually do have a nice catch light in here, but it's so dark that you can hardly see it. And you can also see that she does have some brown in her eyes, but it's extremely dark. So we're gonna to have to kind of manipulate this accordingly. So first let's decide how bright we want these eyes. We obviously don't want them to look like, uh, you know, a night walker. So probably something around here. And I think for her eyes, I wanna add a little more red in there. Um, so I might just go to my greens and take that down. So we get that kind of more nice dark brown look. Maybe something like this. I think something like that. All right, with that done, we can now go back to our mask and with a black brush, we're gonna paint out, paint it out from everywhere but this bottom area here. So kind of the boat under her pupil. So we'll paint it out here, paint it out this side here, and then with a larger brush, I'll just paint out the top. Because again, I really just want this kind of bottom arch. That's the part that would catch light because of the lens inside your eyeball. So something like that. Oops. Okay, good. All right, so now we have some color in our eyes. I think that looks really nice. Next thing I want to do is really punch up this catch light. So to do that, I'm going to use my overlay trick. We're going to call this catch light, put this on overlay, and then just use a white brush. And we'll zoom in here. I'm going to set the flow to 10%. That way I can just build up by painting over it until it's 
about how bright I want that to be. So I'm going to start painting. And I'm really just trying to paint this catch light here. And that's probably as much as I'm going to get out of this layer. So maybe we double that up. And that's too bright. So something in between. The other one to try is hard mix. So if you want a much stronger effect than you're getting with overlay, you can put it on hard mix and then take down the fill. So there you can see I can get the same effect as overlay around 30 or 40 percent. But here I have the option of actually making it quite a bit stronger. And I think somewhere around 70 percent actually looks pretty nice. And then maybe just go on my erase tool here and just get rid of it right there. Kind of just want there. Good. That looks really good. All right, and then I can just hold down Option and drag this to the other eye here. And that'll make sure my catch lights are pretty similar. Because this one is under more shadow, I'm, I'm going to take the fill down even more on this one to probably somewhere around 30%. And there you go. That's the before and that's the after. And the last thing I would want to do here is a similar thing on the sharpening and I'll show you another way to do that I can just make a new layer hold shift option command E stamp the whole thing and then do this high pass it kind of skips one step but you're gonna end up with the same result so we'll put this on pin light and Actually, linear light is better, so let's put it on linear light. I'm going to hold down Option at a mask. That's going to add a hide all mask. And then with a white brush, I'm just going to paint in here the areas that I want sharper. You always want the eyeball sharper. And I think I'm going to bring up the flow here. There you go. OK, so here you can see the before and the after. And you can see how much that light and the catch light is doing to give more life to our model. And we didn't add anything fake. We're just enhancing what already exists in her eyes to make a more pleasing portrait. So there you have it. That's how you enhance and make eyes more dramatic in Photoshop. And obviously the degree to which you push the curves or the overlays are the degree to which the eyes are going to be enhanced or strengthened. Now, I have included some additional images in the assets that you can practice on, as well as the ones that we did today. But really what I want you to do is work on getting those eyes to pop without looking fake. That's the trick. You want to strike that balance between over retouched and wow, that's amazing. All right. Good luck. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, leave a like, share this video, do all those things that you do for the creators that you enjoy. And here are some other tutorials to check out. I'll see you next time.